Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Linux Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have learned about the lathe machine. We have seen the basic principle of the lathe machine. We have seen the major components of the lathe machine and the different types of the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine. So guys, over here in today's video, we are going to elaborate those uh, different operations that we can perform on the lathe machines. We are going to talk about those operations over here in detail manner. So guys, if you are new over here on my educational channel, Genius Academy, kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon because whenever I upload a new educational informative video, you will get instant notifications. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the different types of the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine. So guys, as we all know, the lathe is considered as the mother of all the machines like from a job shop production system up to the mass production system like any type of the production system requires this type of the machines to carry out the majority of the operations so over here the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine these are operations such as the turning operation the turning can be of the like a normal turning operation it can be of the angular turning that is taper turning operations or is the step turning or is the shoulder turning operations the next one is the facing operation, chamfering operation, knurling operation, parting off or else grooving operation, drilling operation, boring operation, counter boring operation, counter sinking operation, rimming operation, also the threading operation. So these are the some of the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine. Also guys in the earlier days where the initial days of the 19th century or else 18th century in those uh, in that particular time, this particular lathe machine is mainly suitable for the to carry out the forming operations or else for the woodworking operations. In woodworking, the forming like a forming tool is used and the pattern which is there on that particular forming tool gets replicated on the rotating workpiece. This particular rotating workpiece is mounted on the chuck and it is continuously rotating at the higher revolution and you will get a replica of the tool on the surface of the workpiece so this is nothing but the basic forming operations that can be performed on the tool over here the feed is given that is the feed is given by the cross slide and this particular feed will be per perpendicular to the axis of the rotation so this is nothing but the forming operations that were performed in the initial days and nowadays we can also perform the forming operations but there are mm, like uh, the n number of the specialized machines to carry out these particular forming operations also before doing any kind of the forming operations we have to carry the heat treatment on the surface of the workpiece so this is the reason usually nowadays on lathe machine we cannot carry the forming operations so now let's talk about the some of the major operations that we can perform on the lathe machine starting with the first one that is nothing but the turning operations so over here the, it is the most basic operations that we can perform on the lathe machine over here the workpiece is held in a chuck that is continuously rotating at the higher rpm and the tool is fed against the workpiece such as the the like the feed over here is given like it is parallel to the axis of the rotation and the diameter of the workpiece gets reduced over here the basically guys this particular operation is majorly suitable for the cylindrical jobs or in the cylindrical work pieces diameter gets reduced over here and we can perform the turning operation so this is this is the operation that we can see over here is known as the turning operation so this particular turning operation is like there are two types of the turning operations that is nothing but the taper turning operation and the step turning or as the shoulder turning operation so the taper turning operation it means like uh, we can convert a cylindrical job into the conical one we can give the angle of the taper to the particular cylindrical job so this particular taper turning operations we can perform on the lathe machines and there are the four distinct method by using those methods we can carry out the taper turning operations this particular four methods are compound rest method tail stock method taper turning attachment method and a form tool method so these are nothing but the four different types of the methods that we can use to carry out the angular turning or as the taper turning operations the next one and guys this particular four methods that we will see in our next video i will make a distinct video i will make a different video on those four methods so guys the next one is nothing but the step turning so over here the the, uh, the different steps are given like uh, 
to a rotating workpiece so over here you can see this is the step turn part or as the workpiece the different diameters are there provided on the surface of the workpiece it is known as the step turning or as the shoulder turning operation so moving ahead to the facing operations so guys over here the facing operations like in any manufacturing process okay uh, or else in any process plan basically the facing operation is the first operation and it is the last operation like while doing uh, while starting any of the operations the facing operation is the first ever operation that we can perform on the lathe machine so over here a single point cutting tool is like fed against the rotating workpiece in such a way that the it is the feed we are giving is perpendicular to the row axis of the rotation over here the material gets removed is very much less over here and we will be getting the higher surface finish on the surface of the workpiece so moving ahead next one is nothing but the chamfering operation so, so guys when we talk about the chamfering chamfering like we can do on the rectangular work pieces by using the foil so that is nothing but the chamfering operation it is like a 45 degree cut that we can perform on the sharp edges of any of the work piece like if the work piece is uh, the cylindrical one we can set the angle of the, the cutting tool to the 45 degree and we can just directly cut the end of the work piece we can remove the sharp edges like those sharp edges can you know can produce uh, hazards while operating or else while mating that part to the another part so like those particular mating can be called as the interchangeability like suppose the part is interchangeable so in that particular scenario the requirement of the process will be the chamfering process so over here the edges will get cut to the 45 degrees and also we can get a good aesthetic looks of the workpiece so this is nothing but the chamfering operation the next one is the knurling operation so guys when we talk about the knurling operation like in some of the uh, requirements or in some of the applications we will uh, we just need a better grip on the on that particular part and that particular part can be manufactured by using this particular knurling operation so over here this is the knurling tool this particular knurling tool is pressed against the rotating workpiece and this particular knurling tool will be having a specific like a uh, pattern embossed on that knurling tool and that particular pattern will get uh, like ref, uh, replicated on the surface of the workpiece when we press that uh, knurling tool against the rotating workpiece the pattern gets embossed on the surface of the workpiece and we will be getting a knurl part that particular part can be suitable for the various applications so guys this is nothing but the knurling operation the material of the knurling tool is of hardened tool steel basically so this is nothing but the knurling operation moving ahead next is we can call it as a parting of or as the grooving operation this particular parting of operation is mostly like uh, like the tool is fed against so we are the tool which is used to carry out the parting operation is the parting tool parting of tool basically and that tool is like uh, fed against the rotating workpiece to uh, to produce the uh, like a uh, different slots a small amount of the slots on the surface of the workpiece while performing the assembly of that particular part like there will be a o-ring which gets rest on that uh, slot basically so this is nothing but the uh, small amount of the groove gets produced by doing this particular operations that is the parting of tool is used over here and the parting of operations that we can perform on the lathe machine as well the next operation is nothing but the threading operations so guys we can carry out the threading operation on the lathe machine like for carrying out the threading operation the speed of the rotating workpiece must be adjusted so that the like the requirement to match the requirement of the threading so over here a chart is provided on the uh, lathe machine and by using that particular chart the operator adjusts the speed of the uh, workpiece so the workpiece will be rotated at a smaller speed and the feed or else the movement of the tool relative to the workpiece gets adjusted from that particular chart so over here the feed is given to the tool and the half nut will get engaged in that particular lead screw so over here uh, by doing the half nut engagement we can give a continuous feed to the tool 
so that we can carry out we can perform the threading operations also over here guys the for the threading operation the tool or as the angle which is there on the tool is set to the requirement of that particular type of the thread the type of the thread and the angle of the tool must be matched over here to perform the threading operation so guys this is nothing but the threading operation that we can perform on the lathe machine so guys moving ahead next is the drilling operation that we can perform on the lathe machine so over here as we all know the drilling operation that is nothing but the uh, like a drill bit gets inserted against the rotating workpiece or as the rotating drill bit gets inserted against the uh, steady workpiece basically so over here the uh, like work is gets inserted in the uh, chuck basically and it is rotating at the uh, speed uh, like uh, this particular drill bit helps in the tail stock in by using the live center and it is pressed against the rotating workpiece so that the material gets removed in the form of chips so this particular like uh, this is the multi point cutting tool that is a drill bit is used to carry out the drilling operation over here like the we can produce the holes in the workpiece uh, of the desired diameter so after carrying out the drilling operation we can carry the boring operation on the surface of the workpiece so over here this is nothing but the boring operation that is the enlarging a previously drilled hole on the surface of the workpiece like we can enlarge this particular diameter of the hole that is the id by using this particular boring tool so this is nothing but the boring operations that we can also perform on the lathe machine this particular boring tool is like held in the tool post and it is the like a feed which is given parallel to the axis of the rotation over here and the, we can perform this particular boring operations also guys we can carry out the counter boring operations the counter boring operation is nothing but the, the tool which is used over here to carry out the counter boring operation it is the different tool which is having a different diameter like to enlarge the end of the previously drilled hole to carry out this operation we can use this uh, drilling tool like this is the counter boring tool or else we can finish the counters over here so this is nothing but the operations of the counter boring also guys there is another operation of the counter sinking uh, over here at the end of the hole we can give the angular cuts or we can give the angular recess basically so in that particular angular recess the screw or else the csk screw will be gets inserted in and that gets fits inside that particular hole so this is nothing but the counter sinking operation so guys over here you can see this is the counter sinking operations that we can also perform on the lathe machine also guys there is another operation that is very much similar to the boring operation that is nothing but the rimming operation that in the rimming operation the reamer or which is used the reamer is a tool basically and that tool is very much similar to the drill bit the function of the reamer and the drill bit is similar but the design of the tool is slightly different so over here the reamer gets inserted against the rotating workpiece and a small amount of the material gets removed over here like we can say this particular reamer is suitable for producing the exact diameter of the holes or else it is uh, we can say that this is used to carry out or else we can say that this is used to produce a finished hole basically so this is nothing but the reamer that is used to carry out the reaming operations also this type of the operation we can perform on the lathe machine this particular reamer will gets held in the tail stock and it is fed against the rotating workpiece like in we can give the feed by moving the tail stock handle basically so this is nothing but the reaming operations so guys that was all about the different types of the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine so guys i hope you understood our today's topic and if you having any doubts any queries you can comment below and also guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy so uh, if my videos are adding some sort of value in your life in your career then please do subscribe to my educational channel it is absolutely free of cost thank you so much guys for watching this educational video please stay tuned with engineers academy